This is Kai Pacho with the weekly Pele Report, November 3rd, 2016. I'm here in Dreamland. You see that glass pyramid over there? Southern tip of Bali. Day late because I lost a day getting over here. We left Costa Rica on Monday. Didn't get here until Wednesday. So today is Thursday, but the moon is still in Sagittarius. Foreign lands, foreign travel. That's what it's about. Foreign ideas, foreign beliefs, expansion of consciousness through the unfamiliar. Go for it. <laughs> At least until tomorrow. Yeah, because tomorrow she goes into Capricorn and she's going to conjunct with Pluto, square Uranus, you know, and then uh, uh, go into uh, Aquarius on Sunday. We're going to have a square moon. 15 degrees, 15 minutes, Aquarius to Scorpio, okay, on, on uh, Monday, Monday, Monday. Speaking of Scorpio, Mercury, Black Moon, Lilith, and the Sun. It's a Black Moon, Lilith sandwich, okay, for that November election in the U.S., November 8th. But this whole time here, basically this whole week, we've got Sun, Mercury, Black Moon, Lilith conjunct in Scorpio, yeah? I'll talk a little bit about that. What else? Mars? still moving through Capricorn, is going to actually get out of there into Aquarius, okay, next Tuesday on the cusp, final degrees. I'm going to see if I can come over here without getting soaked and give you a shot of these rocks. This is, this is beautiful over here, yeah. So yeah, Mars moving into Aquarius. What else? I mean, all week, okay, we have some things happening. Uh, Neptune conjunct the south node of the moon. That's going on for the rest of the month, okay? That's, you know, that's big time. I'm going to be talking about that a lot. Jupiter squaring Pluto, coming into a square. That's going to be going on for a month or so. But really, Venus square Chiron is exact on Saturday. And that's kind of a broken heart, you know, healing love crisis can be happening here. All this Scorpio, Venus squaring Chiron. Let me just look at the camera and talk about it a little bit. Okay, so what's going on over there? Well, let's see. <laughs> Some intense days. Intensity has to do with Scorpio. The buildup of intensity has to do with that scorpionic transformation, death, resurrection, transmutation into something else. So we can have going down and coming up at the same time. We've had Mars moving through Capricorn here now for a number of weeks. You know, it hit Pluto and that Mars, Pluto and Capricorn is really kind of like pushing and going it is a, it's a drive for ambition, okay? It's a drive for recognition, for accomplishment. It's been a real time of getting things done. And then the Sun and Mercury joins Black Moon Lilith and Scorpio, which is about power. Okay, so we've got like power and then we've got ambition and we've, there's, you know, it's been a little bit of a push that we've been in, kind of creating some stress that we've been under. Like I said before, all these planets are in what we call the transpersonal signs. You know, like things and people and relationships outside of us, business outside of us. Things that we can't control, but maybe we would like to control. And this is where Black Moon Lilith brings in the shadow material. I'm here doing a workshop starting tomorrow. Yeah, you know, on the shadow, working with the shadow. And the shadow is just, you know, these negative beliefs we have about ourselves that we suppress. So when Black Moon Lilith is going through Scorpio, we all have a need for some control in our lives. We all have a need for some power over our destinies. Nobody likes to lose. 
and Scorpio is about, okay, this loss of what I no longer need or I no longer am in order to make something new. So it has to do with win and lose. So we can face all of our shadows around winning and losing, about having power or feeling powerless, about being, you know, the predator or being the prey. And we're all kind of dealing now, this south node Neptune, Chiron, and Pisces does have to do with victim consciousness. And Scorpio can also move into victim consciousness if we're the prey and we feel powerless. And then we're all this sensitive, spiritual, Neptunian energy of Pisces, okay, can also feel powerless. So this can be a time where you know, we're feeling overwhelmed by, by these waves, <laughs> by Mother Nature, by the ocean, by the political system, by our partners. I mean, this is just like a real place, a real time, okay, where it's like, okay, how much do I like fight for and struggle to survive? This can also be about money and scarcity consciousness. So that we're all dealing with, you know, this thing like, wow, I wish I had more money. I wish I had more power. I wish I had more control. I wish I wish, 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 wish. In fact, I'm feeling like I don't. <laughs> and like, I'm not gonna make it, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh man. And what does that, is what can that trigger? That can trigger that I want to be out of here. Yeah, this is too intense. It's too much, it's too heavy. I want to escape. I want another toke. I want another orgasm. I want, you know, just like to head off to Bali. <laughs> yeah, I want to just lay on the beach or just lay in bed. So yeah, we're kind of, you know, we're all kind of in this ship, okay? We're a, uh, you know, spaceship planet Earth. And right now the season is, and it is time. Saturn is square the moon's nodes. It is time to move on. It is time to transform. It is time to close this relationship or this job or this situation and move into a new, a new life, a new identity, a new belief system. So it is time to make these changes. And these changes involve releasing and letting go of what was maybe once secure, or maybe what, what you know was once my dream come true, turned into an illusion, or turned into, you know, too much work, <laughs> too hard, that twin flame. Okay, that turned into a nightmare. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh man. It's not always easy to move on. And yet, Mars is now moving into Aquarius. It's gonna be there for five weeks, six weeks. Okay, you know, into December. And Aquarius is the new, the future. Okay, it's like really stepping into non-attachment. So when you got Scorpio Aquarius, okay, we've got this, you know, first quarter square moon is about the revolution and the future and moving ahead. And the sun, Lilith, Mercury, and Scorpio is saying, ah, oh, but I don't want to let go. And you can't have your feet in both places at the same time when you're trying to walk. You got to pick up that foot and place it down in front of you to keep moving the forward motion in the third dimensional world, leaving the past behind in order to realize the new future. So it's a time of decision making. It's a time of making choices. And these choices boil down to what do I believe is best? And so what do I believe is my purpose and what do I value more this or that it's a time of judgment choices decisions and so here we have Venus square Chiron yeah 
a crisis Chiron in values, Venus, changing our values. I used to love this, I used to need this, I used to want this, and now as I see my spiritual purpose or a new destiny laying out before me, I'm changing my course according to a new set of values. Yeah? It's more important for me to do, you know, follow my spirit guidance than to be comfortable here in this situation, this job, this relationship, this condition. So I have to move on and what do I have to do to move on? And this is the thing, Scorpio is about bringing things to closure. It's time to let go and come to closure, but not run away and escape and avoid. So how do we do that? Well, that brings me to this week's mantra. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, baby. The more I evolve, the more I know. It's not just about moving on but saying and doing all I can to know that the learning is done. Whether you are learning a lesson or whether you think you're teaching somebody a lesson, if you walk out of the job or the relationship or the country or whatever, the religion, okay, prematurely, like without giving it all you've got, without trying your most, saying your most, giving it your all, years down the road, you can have regrets. And you can say, damn, I, for I didn't say that, I didn't try that, I didn't give that a chance, I didn't da 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 da, -da. So if, you know, as you get older, you just wanna be in this place of not having any regrets, and the way to not have regrets is to like put your whole heart and soul into every situation that you are involved in and give it all your guns, give it all you got, give it all your guts. Say it all, do it all, try it all. And then after you are completely exhausted, <laughs> by that person or that boss or that religion or whatever. After you are like at your rope's end, bam, then you know, I am out of here. I gave it all, I did it all. Obviously I had to learn this or let go of that, but I know, I know this is over. Yeah. And then you know it's over. Then you move on, you do your Mars and Aquarius and everything's cool and you die a happy camper because you know what? You got no regrets. You did it all, baby. <laughs> One more time for that mantra. It is, the more I evolve, the more I know. It's not just about moving on, but saying and doing all that I can to know that the learning is done. <laughs> May you wrap it up and stop messing around. Know it's done. Namaste. Aloha. So much love.